Hi, today I have two multiply choice questions for you and this is very easy question so I hope you would be able to solve them on your own so I recommend you to stop video here try to solve these problems on your own and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations so here is the first question in a population of 100 people 75 are homozygous dominant 20 are heterozygous and 5 are homozygous recessive. What is the frequency of the dominant allele? And you can solve such problems using Hardy-Weinberg formula. And I have many videos where I explain how to use this formula. But today's uh, question or example is very easy and we don't need to use that formula in order to solve this problem. And here is a way how we can solve this problem very easy so we have homozygous dominant genotype that is capital A capital A and we have 75 people that belong to this genotype we also have a heterozygous genotype that is capital A uh, small a and 20 people belong to this genotype and we also have homozygous recessive genotype that is small a small a and we have five people that belong to this genotype and uh, in order to find dominant allele frequency of the dominant allele as you see we have uh, uh, here 75 people both of them uh, sorry uh, each of them has two uh, dominant alleles so we have to multiply 75 by 2 so this is uh, one dominant allele this is another one and each uh, person here have two such alleles because we are deployed so we have one uh, chromosome with one allele uh, from our mother side another one from our father side so together the 75 people have uh, 150 alleles that is capital A and here for the heterozygous as you see uh, 20 people would have 40 alleles and out of those 40 20 would be uh, capital A and 20 would be small a and as for the homozygous recessive, we would have five people. So together, these five people would have ten uh, alleles that is small a. So the question is how many uh, dominant alleles. So we have to combine these two numbers. And what we are going to get is 170. So I write it here. So if we uh, add 150 and uh, 20, we are going to get 170. And now uh, total number would be 200 because we just have to add uh, all these numbers, 150 plus 20 plus 20 plus 10. And all together, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be, 200. So, uh, as you see, uh, 170 out of 200 is allele uh, capital A. So, in order to find its frequency, we just have to divide this number 170 by 200 and uh, uh, the answer here would be 0 0.85 or if you need an answer as a percentage we just have to multiply 0 0.85 by 100 and the answer would, would be uh, 85% uh, uh, but uh, our answers here uh, on this a scale so usually the scale is between 0 and 1 but it's also can be between 
zero and one hundred percent and uh, you just have to know that one would equal to one hundred percent so you always can change the scale going back and forth from uh, uh, scale that this one to this one and vice versa so uh, today's uh, answer would be uh, answer B 0 0.85 and the next question is a rare metabolic disease is found uh, in 18 out of 100,000 individuals studied what is the frequency of the carries for this disease and here is the five uh, answers that you may choose from and this is a very easy uh, question so I hope everyone chose the correct answer and uh, how we are going to find we just have to divide this uh, 18 uh, people by 100,000 and the answer of course would be C 0 0.00018 uh, it's very easy uh, to find if you use calculator but if you don't have a calculator it's also very easy for example if you divide 18 by 10 uh, this is going to be 1.8 uh, just imagine that 18 uh, is uh, equal to 18.0 this is the same so when we divide by 10 we just move this decimal uh, point to one place to the left if we divide by 100 we move just one more decimal place and this is uh, how uh, we do when we divide uh, by large number so we just move these decimal places uh, one place to the left so when we uh, have to divide by 100 the uh, decimal point going to be here uh, here by 1000 here by uh, 10000 and here by 100000 so here would be decimal point so here we just put uh, our uh, zeros here and uh, this is going to be 0 0.00018 so the answer would be C this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.